Hey, it's Lee with Simply Smarter Income, helping you to start, build, and grow a successful online business. In this video, I'm gonna talk about 15 passive income ideas that can help you make anywhere between $500 to $1,000 or more per month. And I've actually personally done at least four on this list, and they're all creating passive income for me right now. By the end of this video, you'll be able to pick at least three solid ideas to start making passive income. So watch this video until the very end to find the best ideas that work well for you. And if you're new here, my name is Lee and I've been making money online since 2014. This includes running a YouTube channel with nearly 30,000 subscribers. I've also owned and operated an e-commerce subscription box company. And I currently run two niche websites and one blog. So this channel is all about helping you to make money online with a successful online business. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be alerted every time I upload. And with that being said, let's get started. So number one is real estate vacation renting. So think Airbnb, right? Now owning a vacation rental property is actually a great way to make passive income. And if you really want to be completely hands off, there are actually companies out there that are basically vacation rental management companies and they can completely and utterly manage your property for you for a fee of course you can expect to pay around 20 percent or so in fees um, per month which is actually a great deal if you don't have to do much at all honestly so number two is going to be affiliate marketing so affiliate marketing is actually something that i'm actually extremely passionate about and it's something that i know a good amount about as well um, just from running several websites over the years um, if you don't know what affiliate marketing is it's basically the process of making money from commissions every time you promote another company's products or services that actually lead to a sale. And you actually only get paid if there is a sale, just like if you were, you know, like a sales only commission sort of representative, right? Um, but the great thing about it is that the commission that you make is at no additional cost to the customer. So I kind of think of it more so like, as like a finder's fee. It's like a sale that the company probably wouldn't have made otherwise. Um, and so in exchange, I receive a small commission for that sale. So that's basically what affiliate marketing is. It's something you can get really deep into. There's a lot of layers to affiliate marketing as well. And there's different places that you can use it, right? You can use it on your YouTube videos. You can use it on your website. You can use it on Instagram, wherever else that you have an audience. Um, but essentially what you're going to do in that, those cases is, you know, obviously if you have any products or services that you've used yourself that you recommend that you feel great about, you can actually make money from just recommending those items or those products or services to your audience. So it can be a really powerful way to make passive income and it's something that can make you income literally while you sleep. So that's a great place to start. I would highly recommend affiliate marketing for you guys. Number three is publishing eBooks. When it comes to publishing an eBook, there's actually really a lot of different ways you can go about it. You can create a short ebook or you can create an actual like legit book. You can be like a legit author, like with actual chapters, okay? Um, you can do that. Um, but there's also another number of ways you can actually make money from your ebook as well. And so the most obvious, of course, is, you know, selling the actual ebook for a price. And every time someone buys, you're making that money. Um, but another way you can make it as well is by offering, you know, your ebook for free to your audience, for instance. And if you have a really large following and they're really interested in what that ebook is about, because again, you have to be very mindful of, you know, what is it that your audience needs and what is it that they actually want and what are they interested in um, and gear your ebook around that um, but basically if you have a lot of traction online this can be a really great place to start and what you can do with that free ebook is inside the ebook you can actually offer your own products and services that you might actually sell at some point in that book and you can also just do that via links that you can actually place in the book itself or you can also insert affiliate links as well we just talked about affiliate marketing a second ago um, that's another great way that you can make money from your book as well um, or you can also use discount codes from other, you know, uh, negotiated sponsorships, right? So maybe there's some businesses and co or companies out there that you work very closely with and you can offer your readers um, discount codes. And when they use a code, they get a great product or service and you get a small commission. And it's something that, again, can make you money even while you sleep. So it's a very passive way to make money. It's a great way to make money as well. And one of the other things you can think about, too, when it comes down to ebooks is that, you know, it can be a segue into other products and services that you might offer as well. So let's say this book is about affiliate marketing, right? And you just basically have this ebook is basically telling people, hey, this is what affiliate marketing is. This is what it looks like. This is uh, what you can do to get started and where you can go to learn. Um, but hey, 
By the way, I actually have a course on affiliate marketing and in the book, you can click here after you read it if you're interested in learning more and sign up for that course. So that can be another segue for you to actually take those readers from that free platform, that ebook, over to something that's going to be paid for you as well. And it can be very lucrative in that way um, as well. And if the person doesn't want to spend that money or, or sign up for your course, it's perf perfectly fine because maybe that book is just whetting their appetite or teaching them about something that they didn't know about, right? Now, number four is going to be to create audiobooks. So another great way that you can make passive income is to simply by creating audiobooks. Now, this is, I know, like you're like, wow, I never thought about this. It's a great way to make money online. And again, a great Great way to make passive income too. So we just talked about eBooks just now, right? You can actually take those eBooks um, that you've produced and you can make your very own audiobook for your own eBook. It's a great way that you can get started and you don't have to worry about paying someone else to actually do that voiceover acting or that reading that book for you. You can do it yourself with some quality audio equipment and maybe some editing software and you can be well on your way to having a great audiobook that you can put alongside your eBook as well. And of course, you know, you have the option of narrating audiobooks for other people that are out there as well, because I mean, who doesn't want an audiobook to go alongside their ebook, right? Um, or their paperback book for that matter, right? So it can be a really great place for you to get started, even if you don't have it your own ebook just yet. Um, but you can hop on to websites like Fiverr to find gigs that you can start narrating. And then once you kind of get good at it, it's something that you can do whenever you want to, um, and it can create you you know, income. So that's a really great idea overall. And from a passive income perspective, many times you get the option to get paid in royalties as well, which can in turn pay you month after month after month after you've created that audiobook or finished that audiobook project. So it's a really great place to start. Now, number five is going to be online courses. So Every one of us has some sort of skill, we have some sort of knowledge, we have something to offer our audience out there on something, right? You could be great at sewing, you could be fantastic at like repairing holes in jeans. I don't know what it could be, but if you're really great at it and it's something that people really are looking for, uh, it has to be something they're looking for. <laughs> um, but if they're looking for and you have the skill, well, you can create an online course around whatever that might be and charge a fee for it. So maybe for those jeans that we just mentioned, maybe you want to charge $50 for that course. And now people will know how to sew, how to do uh, stitching and how to repair holes in their jeans. And that can be a whole fantastic online course that you have. And you can make a good amount of money on that um, just because there's a ton of people out there looking for that. So just really think deeply about what it is that you have to offer. What sort of skills do you have? What sort of training have you had? And what kind of experiences have you had in the course of your life that you can actually offer up to folks that actually want to find out what it is? So that can be a really great place to start. And you can make, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars every single month from online courses. So definitely do not underestimate how much money you can make from online courses out of everything on this list. I mean, it's really up there in terms of income. So definitely consider online courses. Now, number six is going to be uh, creating and selling digital products. Now, when it really comes down to it, digital products is probably one of the most lucrative ways that you can make money online because you don't have to have a physical product to produce. And especially if that product is information, information is super valuable online because once you create that asset, that digital asset, you can sell it many times over and make tons of money on it. So it's a really great place to start. So just some ideas for digital products might be a guide. Uh, it could be patterns. It could be prints or any other types of digital downloads. So for, for instance, you probably can't see it here, but I actually have some images here on my wall and I actually went onto a website on Etsy and I found like lots of stores that have all these different prints of images that they've created themselves. And all they do is offer those digital files for you to download and for a, a good amount of money. And that could be a great way that you can basically create those prints, create those digital assets, put those out there online, maybe find a way to sort of gear that towards an audience, or if you already have an existing audience, you can put that information in front of them and they're going to want to buy it and you can make some money month over month and while you sleep. So a great way to make passive income. Now, number seven is to create designs or art that other companies will want to print for you 
on different canvases or in bags or shirts or whatever it might be, but you could actually be the one to create those designs. So if you're something, if you're someone who's artistic, this can be a really great leg up for you because you can just create designs that are going to be really, you know, something that people really want to have. So like I just mentioned, Etsy is a great place to start, right? You could do that yourself and maybe print those things off yourself and offer those up to an audience or on Etsy, for instance, like I said, on a certain platform, um, or it might be another the way that you can actually produce these products and sell them to companies out there as well. So another great place to start to make passive income. So number eight is going to be stock photography. So I'm really big into photography, right? So it's probably something you guys that know about me, but I'm really big into it. And so stock photography is actually a really great way that you can make money online. So if you're already out there and you're in the city, for instance, and you're taking photos, or if you love landscapes and you just enjoy doing it, you can actually just take those images and go online to like maybe gettyimages.com or there are different places online you can go and I'll leave them in the description box below where you can go, but you can actually sign up and just start uploading your images. And what will happen is as people start to download them, you'll start to get paid on every download that those people make for those images. And they can be, you know, a lot of images that you upload, you can make this like thing that you do where in your spare time, you can just take a number of photos you think will be a great stock image and just upload those and again make that passive income so it's a really great way to make money especially if you have a lot of photos that otherwise are just going to be sitting around you know on your memory card or something like that you can make money off of it just by uploading it online so consider that now number nine is going to be creating an app so if you're really great at creating apps if that's your thing this is going to be a really great way to make money online because if you create an app that's very useful it can blow up overnight right and especially if it's something that's very useful people can really really like like really start to download it and you can find like overnight success in a lot of ways and if not you can also find other ways to create money um, from your app as well by getting ads on your apps and finding other ways to filter those customers into other apps that you might create and sort of create your whole sort of ecosystem there's a lot of that you can do when it comes down to creating apps if you're really into it um, and you have that skill set highly recommend that you figure something out and get started because there's a lot of money to be made out there from creating apps. Now, number 10 is to invest in high dividend stocks. Dividend stocks basically distribute a portion of the company's earners to investors on a regular basis. And actually most of those American companies out there, they actually do this on a quarterly basis. And so that's gonna be a great way that you can start making money um, passively right just from making those investments obviously you have to have some money to invest first i mean that's obvious but if you do have some extra money and you do want to start investing that can make you passive income every single quarter all the time it's gonna be a really great place to start to have that sort of passive income foundation for yourself as well if you're just getting started in this whole passive income game the next way you can make passive income online is to start a podcast now i know Everyone and their father and their uncle and their uncle's brother, everyone wants to have a podcast these days, right? But there's a reason for it. Podcasting is something that is blowing up, right? A lot of us don't have time to read books and things like that. We might listen to podcasts on our drives to work. If we have a long commute, if we're you know cutting the grass, if we're, if we're at the gym, there's a lot of reasons that podcasts are very popular. And so if you are interested in podcasting and you have the perseverance and dedication to do it, I definitely recommend podcasting. But there's a lot of different ways that you can make money with it through partnerships, through affiliate marketing, um, through email marketing. There's so many different facets of creating money that is passive online um, that you can all just weave into podcasting itself. So definitely recommend podcasting as a great way to make passive income. So the next way that you can make money online that is passive income is by taking advantage of peer-to-peer -peer lending. So if you haven't heard of peer-to-peer -peer lending, it's it's something that it's been around for a while, but it might be new to you, right? So peer-to-peer -peer lending is also known as social lending or crowd lending as well. That's another sort of term that people use for it. It's basically for a way for you, the investor, to actually lend money directly to other individuals. And so basically what you're doing is you're cutting the bank out from the middle of that transaction and you're putting yourself there. And in exchange, you should be able to basically earn like a healthy return on um, that investment itself from you know the principal and interest payments that that person is actually making 
paying back to you. And then in addition to that, you're actually able to lend in hand to people that actually need some extra income um, to go after whatever ventures that they're going after or whatever projects they're working on. And you can make some extra money. So it's a great place to start as well for passive income. Now, the next way you can make money online that is passive is to own managed rental property. So obviously you're gonna need a little bit of capital first, but if you can get your hands on some rental properties that you can have managed, this is gonna be a great way to make passive income as well because essentially all you need to do is purchase the home, find someone that can manage it for you, and they're gonna take care of those monthly payments um, that they're gonna get from the renters every single month. And they'll let you know if there's anything that is expensive that comes up and you can just basically pay for that. Like if they're, the plumber needs to come out or you need like an electrician or something like that, of course you're gonna have to pay for those things. But for the most part, a lot of it's gonna be very hands-off and super passive. So it's another great way to make passive income online. The next way you can make passive income online is to start a YouTube channel. So you can do something like this, like what I'm doing right now. And once you reach a certain amount of subscribers, which I believe right now is about a thousand, you can actually be eligible to receive income from those ads that we see on YouTube. And from there, you can also, again, incorporate other things like affiliate marketing, email marketing, and build an audience um, from scratch, essentially, um, based all around whatever it is your channel's on. And it can be a great way to make passive income long term if you set things up correctly. The next way you can make money online that is passive income is to crowdfund real estate. So it's actually very similar to peer-to-peer -peer lending, right? A great place to start with this is a company called Fundrise. This is basically where you get a pool of investors to actually raise capital that you need for a real estate project. And so essentially this is gonna be a great way for you to get that money that you need to purchase that property that you want to flip or that you wanna rent out or whatever it is you wanna do. This is a really great place for you to start. Then you could be someone that is actually taking advantage of that pool of investors or you can be an investor yourself. So it really works both ways, but essentially it's going to be a great way to build passive income no matter which side of the fence that you're actually on. The next way you can make passive income online is by owning vending machines. So we know that we see vending machines every single place that we go. We go to the barbershop, we go to the dentist's office, we're in the hospital, we're, I don't know, anywhere at the mall, you see a vending machine. Somebody owns these vending machines and essentially what you have to do is obviously you purchase the vending machines and you need to find places that you can strategically place them that has a lot of traffic and essentially you just need to be responsible for making sure those machines are always filled and you can actually do this yourself or you can hire someone to make sure that all of your machines are in good working order and to make sure that they always are full of products that people can buy where you can again make money from it so a great place to start another super easy passive income idea is to basically just rent your parking spot so especially if you live in the city or if you live in a really high traffic area you can just rent your parking spot if you don't need it if you don't have a car if you have more than one parking spot, you can just rent the other one and you can make passive income each and every month because it's in high demand. People really need your parking spot. So why not be the person to supply that parking spot and make that passive income? By the way, if you're finding value in this video, go ahead and hit the like button for me. Also, if you already decided what you want to pick, go ahead and leave a comment below for me. I'd love to hear what you've decided on. So another way that you can make passive income, which is actually something that I do, is to build niche websites. Niche websites are a great way to build passive income. And you might say, oh, well, how does this website make me money? I don't know how it works. Well, I actually have a video on that. I'll leave it in the description below. But essentially, niche websites are great because you can use affiliate marketing, email marketing, um, and a number of other ways to actually create money online. You basically build a niche website. Let's say it's all around photography. You, you know, all of your articles are about different cameras that are out there, different gear, different ways to shoot, different ways to use your camera. And that is what your website is about. And your affiliate links can be all basically about different cameras. So they can click here to purchase this camera that they might want to be, you know, that they might be interested in. And it's a great way to build that passive income where again, every time someone's making a purchase, you're making that income. So it's a great place to start. The next way you can make passive income every single day, even while you sleep is to rent your car. And you can actually rent your car to Uber and Lyft drivers. And there's actually a couple companies out there called Hire Car and Turo. And you can actually rent your car out to those folks and they will use those cars to actually 
do Uber and Lyft, which is something that is just kind of mind blowing to me, but it's a great way to make some passive income. And Turo actually says that the typical, you know, person can bring in an average of $545 per month, just renting a vehicle out to an Uber or Lyft driver. So it's a great way to make money off of your car, especially if you, number one, you're not using your car. Number two, you don't need it. Um, and I mean, it's just a great way to make some money and you can actually make this a business for yourself by purchasing several cars and renting them out to Uber and Lyft drivers. So it's something you can think about. And again, it's going to make you great passive income. The next way that you can make passive income is to create website themes and sell them online. So like I just mentioned earlier, you know, maybe it's going to be for a niche website, or maybe it's for someone who is a photographer or somebody who has um, an architecture uh, portfolio that they want to present online. So there's can be a lot of different ways, but you can basically create themes that are basically ready to go that people can use um, for their online websites because a lot of people don't really know how to make their websites look pretty, right? They know they want a website, but they don't know how to make it look pretty. And if they do know how to make it pretty, maybe they don't have the time to do so. And so that's where you can come in with that theme and make some money off of it. And so another way that you can make money passively online is to buy bank CDs. Now, CDs are basically time-bound deposits, right? And you basically agree to let the bank use your money for a set amount of time in exchange for a higher interest rate than, you know, you would get with like a regular savings account. And so that's a really great way, again, to make money, especially if you have a lot of extra cash just laying around and it's in your savings account anyway. Why not go ahead and do that? and make some passive income. Now, the next way that you can make passive income online, which is like this I, this idea I actually really like, and it's basically to buy a laundromat. And so according to laundromatsource.com, the average laundromat makes anywhere from $450 to $500 per day, per day, okay? This includes washers and dryers and other secondary income streams like vending machines as well that you can put on the property. So this is a really great place to start. If you have the capital for it and you actually want to get involved with it, this is a great way to start making passive income that might not require too much of your time. Um, and it can basically be a business that you can build for yourself that makes you money every single day. It's ridiculous. The next idea is also a great way to make passive income is actually an idea that I think is a little out there, um, but some folks are probably gonna be really into it, but that's basically to advertise on your car. And so for instance, there's a company out there called Rapify, um, and basically what they do is they find companies that want to advertise on your car. So if you live in a certain area and there's you know a particular company that needs advertising, well, they can wrap your car and everywhere you go, you're basically a driving advertisement. And so compensation is actually pretty good, but it's based on basically how much you drive within a designated area. And they call them like campaign zones. Um, but according to Rapify, you can make anywhere from 200 to $250 um, per month if you pick whatever the light option might be. And if you pick what's next on that list is which is partial coverage, you can make anywhere from 260 to $452 per month, which is not bad at all. It is not bad at all. Like it's a pretty good way to make money if you're comfortable being a driving advertisement. It's really up to you. Now, the next way you can make passive income online is through drop shipping. So I know like drop shipping is something that's been super popular for years, but if you don't know what drop shipping is, it's basically an e-commerce based business that does not require you to keep products in stock. And so essentially what you're doing is you, the e-commerce store, sells a product and then you pass that order on to a third party supplier who actually packages and ships that product to the customer. And you actually pocket the markup or you pocket the difference between what you sold the product for and what that other company offered the product for as well. And you make that difference in between. It's a really great way to make money. It does take a little bit of time to actually build up that business, but once you have it up and running, it's fantastic and it makes you a great amount of money. The last way that you can make money online passively is through website display ads. So if you are someone who has a website, you can actually make money online by displaying ads on your site. A lot of times you have to have a certain amount of traffic for on your site before you can make money, but in the meantime, you can use Google AdSense and you can make money that way. Um, but that's a great way that you can make money online with your website. So I highly recommend if you have a website and you um, and it actually works well with your business, definitely recommend display ads. You can make hundreds and thousands of dollars per month depending on how much traffic you get on your site. Um, so it's a great place to start if you already have an existing website. And if you don't, 
you can do it some, something you can do eventually on your website as well. Now, I know I went through a lot of things on this list, but if you found value in this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Also, if you have an idea of a few of these things that you want to try yourself, let me know what you're gonna pick in the comments below and let's chat about it. Also, if you have some ideas that I have not thought about, leave those in the comments below. And again, let's talk about it. And if you haven't already subscribed to this channel for more videos just like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.